Hi, it's Mary Beth from the Easton Public Library. Oh, and I'm, and I'm Christine from the Easton Library. Yes. Hi. And we've got our wonderful guest today, Claire Wilkes. I'm going to tell you a little bit about something, Claire, uh, about Claire. She is a New York and Connecticut based theater producer. She holds a BA from Barnard College, began her career in nonprofit theater administration, and has done stints as both an actor and a voice artist. And after many years doing non-arts related things, including raising her family, she is back, back in the theater world. And her latest project is called The High Captain, which recently had three live virtual performances presented by The Tank, New York City. So Claire, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. This is great. Yeah, it is wonderful. So tell us a little bit about what you do. Where would you like to start with your most recent project or start from the beginning? Uh, well, I can start there. Yeah, and we, then we can sort of bounce around. Um, sure. I, uh, I have to say that uh, producing is new for me. Um, I, um, as you mentioned, I had done some voiceover work most recently and found that it wasn't quite fulfilling me the, the way that I wanted, wanted it to. So um, I thought I would look into theater producing. And I did that in March of this year. Wow. And <laughs> I, I took a weekend seminar in New York City that was devoted to uh, commercial producing. And things just started happening. Um, very quickly. So, um, and then I found myself involved with this project and I'm sort of off and running. That sounds so exciting. I love when like you, um, uh, you, you want to change and you think something might work and it just works. It did. And I immediately felt at home with the people that I met and, you know, the, the theater community, you know, in, in particular the producing community, everybody is very welcoming and, uh, there's a lot of knowledge being shared and it's not terribly competitive because everybody is just trying to get their work um, produced. Um, so I've just found it to be really, really fascinating and, and fun. So wonderful. And, yeah. and especially during this time, uh, you know, when we are, are virtual, I mean, it's so wonderful to still bring theater to the public so that people can engage. It's one thing that's, sort of a, a silver lining of, of this time, if you will, um, is that I've been able to do so much uh, virtual networking online with people. And because everybody's kind of, you know, at home, that I've had access to meeting incredible people, producers who have acted as mentors to me, um, and just incredible uh, forums to uh, gain information and knowledge, which for me as a, as a new person in this field is really critical. Absolutely. Yeah, it's so interesting. And um, what do you think your favorite part of the job is other than like the collaborations that you talked about? I think there is something just really incredible about seeing a project through from the beginning stages um, to actually seeing it, per, you know, performed, uh, you know, by a, by a live audience and by live actors, I, I think there's a particular thrill to that that I really love. I loved it when I was an actor, and I love it now too because you can still see the arc of the whole project. It's very thrilling. Yeah, I bet it's very satisfying. I love that you said how. Your other job, it just wasn't quite as satisfying as you hoped. So you, you move on and now you have that. It's fantastic. So this yes. is sort of a second or even maybe like a little bit of a third career for you now. It's really more like a fourth or a fifth career. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, it truly, truly is. Yeah. And, and I think that's, you know, one thing I was, I was thinking about, you know, chatting with you tonight and, and I thought that that would be something that I think is important to share with uh, your viewers that, you know, over the course of a lifetime, I think it's more the norm today for people to have more than one career. Um, and so it's, you, you don't ever have to feel like you're completely pigeonholed into one thing. Yeah, yes. that is such important advice to kids that, 
you know, or who are struggling to think of what they want to major in or what they want to do, you're not married to it for your entire life. There is so much time to change and evolve and discover something fantastic like film, I mean, uh, theater producing that, you know, really fits the bill and makes you happy. Yeah, that's right. And, I, you know, it's kind of amazing that it's kind of taking me this long <laughs> to figure it out. But everything that went before was useful to, to right now. And that was one of the things about theater producing is that I felt like I had a skill set. You know, I had a skill set from, from my time, you know, as an actor. And I, you know, know how the creative process works in theater. And, and I went to college and that was my background is, is in theater in, in college. Um, so I had all that, but then there's that, the life stuff too. And, you know, certainly as a parent, I've got, uh, you know, I call it the mom skill set. <laughs> yes. uh, all the applicable things about um, a family and running a household and stuff applies. Um, oh yeah. So, but it totally does. I mean, multitasking is the skill that parents pick up really well, and that will serve you in any career. Absolutely. I was talking about this with a, a producer a friend of mine not too long ago, and, um, and he said, well, you know, you have that way of, of talking to people when, when you have to, you know, to, to talk tough to people when you have to, because sometimes as a producer, you have to do that because you are kind of the the voice of reason, you know, you're working with uh, the creative team, you know, the, uh, the director who wants the world for the production and, and you have to say, well, that's great, but we have a budget <laughs> and we can only do X instead of X, Y, and Z. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So when you were studying in college, when you were studying theater, you were a theater major. Um, did you, and this is again kind of tied into this, did you envision just acting for your career at that stage? Did you think I'm going to do this or did you kind of know that you had many interests and it would take you maybe within the same field, but, but further on? Well, the funny thing is at Barnard where I went, they, at that time they didn't have a theater major per se. They had something called theater um, program in the arts. Um, and I had a theater concentration. It, it was essentially a theater major, but it was, it was interdisciplinary. So you got the opportunity to collaborate with people from different di disciplines. Um, and when I was a senior, I, I got a internship working in a, for a nonprofit off-Broadway theater. And I just started as an intern doing computer entry and they liked me and six months into it, um, basically by January of my senior year, they pretty much told me I had a job if I wanted it when I graduated, which of course I did. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that was really wonderful. I was there for about two years and I, I learned an awful lot, um, you know, in, in that time frame. But somehow in the back of my mind, I think I always wanted to, I really wanted to act. That was my, my real desire. So I ended up leaving that position and that was the time that I, that I moved into doing doing some acting. And what kind of acting did you do? What in what? Um, it was mostly theater. I did a little bit of TV and a little bit of film. Um, you know, I did some commercial work. Um, you know, I always say I never got rich and famous, but I really, really enjoyed it. It really uh, was a really magical time. And, and um, you know, I had the opportunity to work with some really young theater companies in New York. Uh, theater companies that were just getting off the ground and um, it was an amazing time. So exciting. And I, I'm sure you met so many interesting people along the way. I'm wondering, did some of that inform what you do now? Like, are you connected with those people in any way or did it lead you to these other connections? Well, in a way, because almost everybody that I knew, um, actors and otherwise, they all had other things going on. So, you know, you, you find a lot of crossover, you know, there's, there are actors that are directors. Um, there are, um, you know, uh, I, I knew a wonderful actress who was an incredibly talented costume, uh, costumer. Um, so you, you would usually find there would be something else going on. And, you know, particularly actors, uh, 
it, I think it's important to know, um, you know, for again, for any of your, your viewers who are out there who are um, actors or singers or dancers, um, you know, I would say don't wait to uh, have somebody discover you, you know, make something happen for yourself. And I think so yeah. skills like producing, it's really, it's a really good thing to learn how to do if you're in one of those other disciplines. Right, right. And I think probably with your background of acting, you can really relate well to the people you're working with because you've been in their situation. Yes, yes, most definitely. Yeah, definitely. And, um, you know, and also with the, the director as well, um, this last project that, um, that I was working on, um, yeah, it, it just, I, I, I knew how to, to interact with mm -hmm. them. Yeah, because I have I have a sense of where they're coming from. So great. Yeah, it's so interesting, and um, just the the you know you think well, okay, I want to be in the arts, and you you don't realize I think when you're young and starting out just how many different ways there are to be in the arts or to even be in uh, you know theater or acting. There's just so much that you can do with those things. It's it's really wonderful. There are, and you don't have to, you don't have to be uh, an actor, director, singer, dancer, musician to do that because they're all, all sorts of other fields too that are related to the arts and that the arts needs. So say for example, you know, a Broadway production, you need people that are accountants, you need people that are lawyers, um, and you need people that are, um, you know, specifically like theater administrators so you can be in that world, you can be in the part of that world and be part of a, a, a broader team that brings something to life, a, 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 um, a play to life, but you don't have to be an actor. So, you know, if there's somebody who like, well, you know, I really think I want to go to law school, but I love theater, you know, maybe that's a good, a good fit. <laughs> that is a really good point. Yeah, I love that idea. And a lot, in fact, a lot of the producers that I have met um, are um, other things. You know, they are, they are attorneys or they are, um, I'm working with a, a person right now who is a real estate person and um, another a person who was, uh, did marketing for a magazine for many years. So, um, yeah, I think it really all just starts with a love of theater. You know, you can do an awful lot. You can, the, the, the knowledge you can, you can get, uh, but you have to have the love of it to start with. Yeah. Well, Claire, this was so interesting. I'm so glad you'd come and talk with us. Thank oh, you thank so you much. so much. This has been great. Thank it you. Has. Really enjoyed it. Thank you for joining us and, and chatting. My pleasure.